I was reminded of a, of a parable of a teacher of mine who once used to share the story of a man who was in the marketplace, right, in the souk. And as he was walking through the souk, he heard the adhan being called to go to prayer, right? Um, and he was a younger man, and as he was walking towards the masjid, he got distracted by a very beautiful uh, woman who was fully garbed. She had her niqab on, everything, but there was something about her that attracted him to her, and he wanted to figure out more of who is this? What is this thing that is calling me to it, that is tempting me? So he started following her through the souk. Brothers, none of you guys should ever do this, by the way. So he started following this woman through the souk. And as he followed her, he noticed that he was going further throughout the town, right? Deeper into alleys, deeper into corners. And as he got down to a certain place, he noticed it started to get darker. The sun was starting to set, right? And then the, this person went down into a, a alleyway and opened a door and went inside. And he followed this person into the door. And then the person said, close the door. The man closed the door. And then the person said, take the key and throw it in the well here. Throw it away. The man threw the key down. Then the person revealed the, this woman that the man was chasing, that he was so intrigued by, so occupied by, so distracted by, revealed itself. And it wasn't, a, it wasn't a beautiful woman. It was, in fact, someone who said, I am dunya. I am the dunya. I'm the worldly life. And you spent your entire life chasing me, chasing after what you thought I was, and now here you are in your own grave. And it's a profound story for us because the reason why I'm bringing this up is just for us to make sure that we hold gratitude in our hearts for every breath Allah gives us. Every moment we have, even if it's filled with trials and tribulations, to make sure that we're grateful to Allah.